What's up guys, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to check out Helpier, which lets you create guided tours. That means that you can create those little tours that you've seen when you log into a SaaS, where it says with a little box, number one, this is what it does and you can start here. Then go to number two, then go to three, then four, and it helps you with the onboarding. So you could do some guided tours to get started or to do something specifically. Now Helpier does a couple of other things like pop-ups, banners, surveys, but in this video we're going to focus on the guided tour so we're gonna create one right now so I can show you how super easy this is and I'm actually gonna implement it on a WordPress site so help here can be implemented in any HTML site any WordPress site any SAS as long as you put it in the body you can implement it so basically any site and you can use it for many case and purposes not only for SASs so let's jump into my desktop and show you how easy it is to create this guided tour so let's jump over there all right, guys, this is Helpier's side, and I recommend you jump in here to check out what other things Helpier does, because like I said before, we're only going to focus on the guided tours. Now, if you guys want to grab a deal that's going on right now, the link will be in the description. If you guys would like to support me, use that link. It won't cost you a single cent more than what it already cost. Okay, so let's jump into Helpier's dashboard. And what I've done right here is I've added the site name and the site URL where I'm going to use Helpier. Now we, we can create the guided tours using the Chrome extension if you want to install that, which I already done, or you can install the script right here. This little script is the one you're gonna use on the site that you've just added here on Helpier. Now I'm gonna jump into my WordPress site and what I've done is I installed the script right here, which is in the body. Now if this were a SAS, then you would track this in your file manager and you would install it there in the body. So it's super easy and super fast and it just shows you how easy it is to implement anywhere. Now let's jump into the site right now. Let's jump into the home page. Okay guys, so here's the site and the help your icon has loaded here on the left and I'm gonna do a tour or a guided tour of how to check out my deals, right? So I'm gonna go into my deals page right here and I am going to create a tour by clicking here on help here. And let's just say this was a SaaS and you wanna show, show them how to get started or if it's a tutorial to do something specifically. So I can create a brand new guide right here. I'm gonna click on new and we can create a tour and pop-ups or tool tips right here. Like I said, we're gonna do a tour right now. So this would be deals tour, all right? And we can set a description. We're just gonna leave it like that and we're gonna click on record and we get it started. So what it's gonna do is if I hover in, hover over the elements, I can start that tour by clicking there. So in this case, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go right here to all deals, okay? And this is gonna be like, check out all the deals here, right? This could be a tutorial. And I can go to a next button right here. So I'm gonna to go to search right here and this is gonna be like search for all, oh, for all deals, okay? Next step would be is, uh, let's click on this little plus button which gives you a description. So I'm gonna click right here. See more description of deal, all right? And this is gonna be a clickable element. It's not gonna be just like showing you the next step. So I'm gonna click on these little three buttons which is the menu and it's gonna be a step action right here. So in the step action, I'm gonna to go to the actions and this is gonna be a click on elements. So I'm gonna click on that and see how it opened up. That's what it's gonna do on the tour. Now this could be taking you to another page if you want or click on that element like we're doing right now. So after they see the description, let me close this. I want to show them that they can go to page number two right here. So see more pages, right? So I'm gonna click there and it's gonna be see next page here, all right? And this is also gonna be a clickable element because I want to show them what happens when they do this. So click on element and that will load page number two. And three, you can click on this little name and organize, organize, or, all right, organize by ABC, all right? And that would be it. All right, so let's click on save this tour right here. We're saving it. And you can do a whole bunch of other things. You're just gonna, you can put videos to do the guided tour, but in this case, we're doing steps. So let's close this right here. And once you've created that, that means it's not published. We have to publish this. So this is a tour right here, and we can actually edit this if we want later on. We can delete steps, and we can add more steps if we want. So you got the failover behavior if you want to edit that right here. So what's going to happen if it fails? And we got the, oops, draft right here. Let's go back to edit, edit that. And we got the start guide. So how is it going to start? 
So users can play this guide on the guided list. So that means this is really super helpful. What's going to happen is that just like we saw this list right here pop up on the left, that will happen for users. And you can add a bunch of tutorials or guided tours right there to help users do things. So for example, if your SaaS was a link shortener, so how would you add your pixel? And that would be one tour. How do you shorten a link? That could be another tour. Um, how to edit my account? And each one would tell you different steps. Okay, let's go back. And we are going to also edit this guide right here. So we are going to publish this guide. Now it's going to be available for users. But we have more options here on the bottom. We can select where we want this to be visible. Now let's just say, you know what, my SaaS is not meant to be mobile friendly. You have to use this on a desktop. So you can disable smartphone and tablet and just have it available on desktop or vice versa if you want. Also, the settings right here would be like, do you want to show the arrows? Do you want to use the overlay screen? Do you want like darken the screen so it shows that the pop-up? Do you want to show a minimum score? Change the guide's overlay position. Multi-level Z index, you want to enable that. Disable step numbers. So if you don't want to show one, two, three, four, you could disable that. Show the bottom bar in the bottom. So you want you don't want them to see that, maybe. Display the loading indicator. Maybe you don't want to show this uh, loading indicator and hide widget after display. So that could be that something you want to do. If you don't have more tours, then you want to disable it. But in this case, we're gonna leave it like that. So basically, we're ready to go. Let's open an incognito tab. I am not a, I'm not logged in, this is incognito, and I'm gonna show you how this works, and we're gonna go into my deals page. Whoa. Let's go to sasm.co, let's go to that link. If you guys want to check out those deals, the link will be in the description. So let's go into lifetime deals because this is where I want to show you the guided tour. Now you can start this by doing it automatically where the tour just starts and you can select how many seconds you want that to start. If you only want it to show it on certain pages and it's super easy. That little icon popped up and I'm going to click on it. All right. And the tour should be shown right here. There you go. So. You can see I'm going to click right here, deals, and I'm going to click play. And that could be, like I said, other tours. It took me down automatically. I did not scroll. And boom. Okay, so this is where I get started. Check out all the deals here. Okay, so let's just say this word tutorial and this, okay, how I get started. Go here. Go next. Oh, I could do a search. Search for all deals. If I click next, I could do see more description of, of deals. Okay, so on that, on that little plus button, I can see, oops, I could have done a delay right there. I could show more there. For example here, I would not use a overlay because I want to show what's going on. And you can see next page here. So I can click here and it loaded up the second page and it's done. That's how easy it is to create a tour with Helpier. This helps a lot so you don't waste time trying to show people how this is done. Now, there you go. Helpier lets you create those guided tours where you go one, two, three, and you can do a whole lot with it. Let me go back to my site just to show you a little bit more of options because I wanted to show you what other things you could do. On the started guide, we can go into here, and we remember we said we could start this off automatically. We can click on edit option, and you have the option to enable this on certain pages. So you can hide or all pages or a specific page right here. So if I want to say, you know what, specifically that deals page is only going to show you. The time interval, so do you want it to work during these times? And the segmentation right here. So I can apply that action to only show on that page and none of the other pages will show it. So it's super easy and super fast to create a tours. You just have to imagine what you want to show users so they don't keep asking over and over simple steps that can't be shown, that could be shown with this helpier uh, application so it's super easy to implement and you got other tools like manage all widget tools you can change languages you can add languages there so for example my main language is Spanish so I can add it there roles and permissions users manage account users and general settings now to finish up we're gonna go into the helpier right here and we could do the theme colors we could change the theme right here and we can do user roles subscriptions, what am I using? Settings right here. You can add languages right there or how to enable or disable the Helpier application widget. And we have the analytics of what, what's been going on with these tours. So how many people have played this tour? How many have completed it? So you can see right there, 16 started this and only five finished. Um, this would give you the analytics and the of bases like say, you know what? 
maybe something needs to be done with this tour because it needs to be, I don't know, better or why are people getting out? Just kind of find out why. Completion rate, so it's 31%. Users that played the guided tour and reached the goals. This is not a one of those reached gold ones, but you can add that. Played versus completed guides, so you got a graph right there. Guided performance, and we have the feedback right here if you're using that to get feedback. So you got the analytics right there for that. Well, there you go, guys. That is Helpier. I hope they gave you the sense of how easy it is to implement and start those guided tours that you see on those SASs that you might think it's super complex or that they're using something really fancy when it's something super easy as Helpier. Like I said before, I will have that link in the description if you would like to support me. It's an affiliate link. It won't cost you a single cent more if you use it and it helps me out to grab deals and keep showing you of how they are used and overviews of those SASs. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SAS Master. I'll see you guys later.